Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the column reinforcement detail. So, in this lecture we are going to study the reinforcement detail and the drawings of the RCC column. So this is the column uh, as we as shown here in the figure. This is the column, and this is the elevation section of the column. You can see this is the elevation of the column. And these are the two cross section of this column, having two different cross section. You can see the total length of this column is 2.5 foot, 5 foot, 2.5 foot. So the total length is 10 foot. So in this column, they have provided the two section. So there, there will be some reason to provide the two section because one section is enough to read the column details. But here we have different column, different column cross section. Uh, due to some reason. So I will explain this reason that why we have two different sections of the single column. So first of all we will start from this column elevation view of the column. So these are the four main bars you can see one two three four. You can see the four bars but in the section view we can know about how many numbers of bars are provided. So in section A you can see here that this length, this is the cross section detail of the column. So the dimensions are 12 inches and to 15 inches of the column. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bars provided in this column cross section. You can see here also given is the 10 number 6 bar. Means the numbers are 10 and they all are number 6 bars provided as the main bars are the longitudinal bars in the column. Here you can see only four bars because it is a different view. It is the elevation view while it is the cross-section detail. In cross-section detail, you can know about the column in detail. While this is the stirrups, you can see here, these are the stirrups provided, these which hold the main bars in position. So these are the ties, we can say, because stirrups are used in beam and the column, we say it the ties. So the little ties are provided Number three bar provided at four inches center to center. In section A, you can see that these ties are at four inches center to center. Now coming to the section B. Section B is the distance from the five. You can see here from the 2.5 foot onward up to this distance. You can you can call it the seven foot. So from here to here, we have the section B. The section B is provided because it is the different detailing from the section A. Otherwise, we have to provide only one section. But here in this case, we have different detail of the reinforcement. So let's see what is the difference between these two sections. In section BB, you can see that the little ties have more spacing up above of center to center. You can see this spacing of the little ties is more between the two little ties. While in this case, they are more closely spaced. In this case, they are more closely spaced. Because at the end and the start of the column, there is no such, there is high shear demand. So we provide the little ties at close distance. While at the middle, there is no such high demand. So we provide the little ties at more a distance. So in this case, you can see section BB, all the details are same. We can see that these are the 10 number 6 bar. Here also the 10 number 6 bars. And the dimensions are also same. But the only difference is that they are that there number three bar provided at six inches center to center while here the little ties were provided at four inches center to center while here we can see that they are provided at six inches center to center it means that the distance between the two little ties is now six inches while here we have the distance between the two little ties was four inches here also we can see the four inches so that's the reason that why we provide the two different section of the one column and this is the any column we have taken from the drawings, uh, uh, which is which I personally saw in the field. And this is the continue. This sign shows that the column is continue in both the direction. It means it may be continued to the upper floor and it is continued to the down floor. So I just taken the of uh, this figure from uh, the side field drawings, and I some want to share some knowledge about the column reinforcement detail. So this is the way how to read the column reinforcement detail. The other thing is that this is known as the hook, hook bar. And the, to hold these uh, bars, 
we provide at the end of the column cross section you will see practically that there's some hook provided in each step so this hook distance is usually taken as 4 into d where 4 is the constant number and d is the diameter of this step which is number 3 bar so we will put the 4 into d so 4 into the diameter of number 3 bar is 0.375 inches so putting this value we will get the length of this of this hook bar like this this is the hook bar so this length is known as the 4d so we can find out this length of this tie bar so this was all about the today topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video